Hello, Didier Stevens here, senior handler at the Internet Storm Center. This video for the analysis of uh, obfuscated VBS is based on this uh, diary entry that I made. So I have a sample that I got from uh, Malware Bazaar and I'm going to analyze this with Cyberchef. Now here you, you can load the, the file, but then you ha need to have the file on uh, your disk. And uh, I don't like that, especially on uh, Windows uh, machines. So I have the sample here in a password protected zip file, as I obtained it from Malware Bazaar. Here it is. And I can say option X, uppercase X, and this will dump all of the files in the zip file as an hexadecimal dump. And since there is only one file, there you have it. So what I can do now is say clip. This will copy the hexadecimal dump to the clipboard and then I can paste it into Cyberchef. And then I can say from hex to do the decoding like this and then now here I have the file here as output in Cyberchef without having to have that file on my disk uh, not contained in a zip file with a password. Okay so and now I can start uh, the uh, analysis. So I'm first going to run magic on it to identify the file and uh, it's a text file, UTF-16, little endian. So the FFFE that you see here is a, a byte order mark and FFFE means little endian. Okay, so let's do that away. And then we can decode this. So decode text, Dec decode this as UTF-16, little endian. Okay, so and we see a lot of uh, colons and, and two, one and two. And if we go through here, yeah, it seems that it's only this. So let's just filter these out and see what we remain with. So filter. Carriage turn line feed is a delimiter here because it's a, a Windows file. So, start of the line, colon, end of the line. So now we have selected only these with a single colon. Invert, and now we have the rest that remains. So we can do that again. Cache return, start, colon, colon, end of the line. Invert selection, okay, and now we end up here with a couple of lines of uh, VBS. So with the dim statement, that's some, something you find in uh, Visual Basic. So that's a good keyword to say, okay, this is a uh, Visual Basic. And uh, here you also have an execute uh, statement. Execute, it's a statement that you have in uh, VBS and uh, Visual Basic scripting. It's not uh, available in VBA, uh, Visual Basic uh, for Automation. So this is a, a VBS file. You can see here several replaces, uh, so lots of non-printable characters here, well non-ASCII characters, replaced by an I, an S, an U, an R, an E, a U, and so on. And then we have this here. Okay. Okay, and, and these two characters here appear also here. And so you have this and this. So this looks like a replace, an obfuscated replace. And it's very likely this because here you can see PLAC and here you can see an R. So this string uh, has probably has to be replaced by an E. So let's just do that. Let's just replace, let's do a search and replace for this and replace it with A. Let me copy this. So search, no, 
find a replace, find replace. Okay, so we just find a simple string, search for a simple string, this one here, and we replace this with the letter A. Okay. And now we start to see something that looks a lot like B64, but reversed. And the equal equal here is uh, at the beginning and not at the end. And then you also have this here, some other variables that are concatenated. But here, this also looks again like a search and replace because you have the variable here, then these three variables and the Z. So what I'm going to do is just try this here and do another find and replace. So a simple string and replace this with Z. Okay, so this indeed looks like uh, reverse base 64. So let's extract this. Uh, first, I'm going to filter only for this line. Uh, let's just take this here, part of the line, and say filter. Like so. Then I only want to select this here, so between the double quotes, and I'm going to use a regular expression for, for that. So a regular expression, I match a double quote, and then in a capture group, any um, sequence, close the capture group, and here, double quote, you see it is selected now, and I'm going to say list capture groups, okay, and here we have the reversed base64 here. So let's reverse this, like so, base64 decoding. Okay, and now we end up with something that is typical here for PowerShell. Uh, this is uh, UTF-16. So decode text. UTF-16 little engine. And here we have our uh, PowerShell script with here a URL and here an another reversed URL.